Welcome back to Report Toaster Tutorials. Report Toaster allows you to create everything from simple data lists to complex chart reports. This tutorial will explain a little more about the basics of chart reports. You use these when you're looking for trends in data, usually over a period of time. Uh, we're going to get down here to a few of the pre-built ones we have for you. This one's a 30-day summary, pretty self-explanatory. This one shows sales over a 30-day period charted over time. So we we'll start by looking at the date range limiter. As I mentioned, this one goes limits to 30 days. Uh, you can change this to any of the pre-built limiters here, um, any period of time, or have your own custom time limiter. You can also do filters. So you could filter on any field here in the Shopify model. Um, we can search to limit filters. Uh, we're going to leave these off for now. We're going to get into filters at a later in a later tutorial. So you can also add and change columns, customize the columns available on the report. Here you can see all of the columns available in the model. Uh, we could search by one here, maybe by uh, the billing country code, add this in. And maybe we don't care here about discount. We're going to get rid of discounts. And then maybe we want to move shipping up a little bit here. And that's that. For those familiar with analytics and chart reports, based on a couple different um, concepts when it comes to the columns, non-numeric columns are called dimensions. Those are columns that just are going to show up in the report. Then we've got metrics, which are columns that are going to be aggregated somehow, like some sort of limiter. Let's come back here and look up maybe price. Here we go. We can use uh, net sales as an example. We can take any aggregate here, the average, the max, the min, or the default, which is the sum. You can see these that these metrics are uh, delineated by showing the number sign there. And we can carry, let's say we want to do the max net sales here to go next to the sum of net sales. Choose OK. Once the report refreshes, you'll see all the new columns that we added here, the country that we added here, and we can also then change the way that we chart. So we can add a column to be charted or take one away. We can also sort. So we could change the sort, for example, to sort by the most recent date of orders created. So you could see everything recent to older. And then we have some advanced options. Those would be uh, here, like we can turn off the chart if we'd like. We can turn off filters, get rid of those, give us more screen real estate. And there are some advanced options here that we'll get in uh, in a later tutorial. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks for watching. To watch more tutorials, you can go to reporttoaster.kb.help or visit our website at cloudlab.com.